Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Ekaterina. I'm here with Doug, and we here today will help you to make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. Hey, good morning. Good morning. It's hot out, isn't it? It is hot out. Mike and I are going to go to the beach today, but don't tell Tyler. We're telling Tyler we're going okay. to look at a co-location. Right <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I went to the beach on the weekend. It was beautiful. Did you? Where'd you go? Yeah. Well, in New England, actually, far away. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You were Providence Girl or something, right? Yeah, I think Yeah, so. but not too dark. It's sensible, yeah. well, I guess. Well, I'm trying to take it like slow. Like the model, yeah. I'm trying to take it slow, I always yeah. take it slow. I, I do it very gradual. <laughs> <laughs> I always come back red like that light. Okay. The last time I went with the bike, I said, there's no sun here. <laughs> there's no yeah, sun. We're not going to get tan. It's too And <laughs> we both came back bright red, <laughs> which kind of looked like my charts this morning. Uh, they're uh -oh. about bright red, too. Um, <laughs> although, uh, I am going to call the accountant. He'll be very happy to know that we are going to have a tax deduction this month um, on my capital losses. Um, guys, Lehman Brothers need $6 billion, um, and they lost $2.8 billion, right? Uh, David Einhorn, I saw him last week on CNBC. Smart bastard, man, runs a hedge fund and said to short them. And I thought, boy, and, and they were up $3 a share that day, and I thought, Man, I don't know. You know, they're up three bucks a share. This guy sounds awfully smart, but you know, do I, and now here you go. They were down five this morning. Um, I have good instincts. I just have a very bad brain, you know, <laughs> uh, because I knew the right thing to do, but I just didn't have. Uh, I don't know the intellect to be able to do it. Um, Finley's down to fifty-two cents a share. Um, just so that you know, if Finley's doesn't do a turnaround this summer, we're going to be having. A promotion where we have all the models at a free kissing booth up on Fifth Avenue. <laughs> and we're going to ha give away free beer uh, for our audience. And then we're going to give you eggs to throw at them as they come out of the office. Did um, models know about free kisses yet? It's in your contract. Remember the one I told you you didn't have to bother to read? That last page? Yeah. I don't, I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah. German Mike, he's very good with invisible ink and all kinds of things like okay. that. <laughs> when you signed it, it looked clear. Okay. Thank you very much. That's, yes. very, that's very exciting news. Free kissing, free kissing booth. Okay. But to get people to come so they show up. We're going to have big protests if this guy's stock price doesn't go up. Sure. Yeah, it's all for the good cause, right? Aren't we a whole <laughs> team, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. I knew that. I knew that. Um, what do you have for us this morning? Management changes uh, yeah. from Librem? Yep, that's right. We have some management changes. Uh, Goldfish Corporation, ticker G O F H dot, dot O B. Nate Mate Freeman, former founder and CEO of Tribal DDB Worldwide, as CEO and a member of the company's board of directors. Uh, he succeeds Michael Doney, who will leave the company. Yeah, advertising is a tough market right now. Um, the tribal DDBs are gigantic, you know. Um, and these, these guys, they're up 33% this morning. We should have bought them in pre-market, guys. Mm -hmm. um, but they're up to 40 cents. Um, you know, $10 million mark cap. Um, we're bigger than they are. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know? Uh, think of that. Um, German, we hit the big time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're going to buy them. Do we need an ad agency? We have models. Yeah. We're almost an ad agency. We have crazy designers, right? <laughs> You? I'm talking to German Mike. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, and Tyler, Tyler, did you call this morning when we got the same pants on? Uh, no, I, I spoke to your wife. She oh, okay. And she laid them out for me. Thank you very much. Um, I have the same pants as Tyler today, so I am cursed. Um, it's further proof that God hates me. Um, guys, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, Lehman's down. Uh, Wachovia is down. Wachovia hit a new low today, thankfully, right after I bought uh, 400 shares of them on Friday. They decided to go straight down. Um, I've got a couple of the Chinese banks, uh, EWBC and UCBH. They're going in opposite directions today, which is a little odd. UCBH are up 350 bucks. Uh, not to be deterred, though, EWBC is down 220 bucks. Um, I don't know what to do. You know, I, I bought some ABK. I thought they hit the bottom, right? Uh, I thought Wilbur Ross was going to jump in and save them. Uh, apparently, that was just my thinking. I, I, maybe I should have mentioned that to Mr. Ross. True Religion. Do you know True Religion jeans? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. Do you I wear them? I personally don't. But Why? I have a lot of friends who wear it. I don't know. I'm not into jeans overall. No? Mm -mm. I don't know. But maybe it's too American thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's too American thing um, for you? Yeah. Um, they keep going up, up, up. 
And they were, they were hitting a new 52-week high, guys. The Every Pearl single Asian day Jones? in a row. Yeah, they opened up a bunch really? of new stores. Yeah, they opened a store by me. Um, nice. That's coming in like two months or something. Um, and they just opened another one in Hawaii, one in San Diego. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I should buy a pair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait until they open by me. Then to you can support. come out, buy them, and help the to stock. Support. But they were hitting new 52-week highs every day until I bought them, and then they went down $2 a share. <laughs> um, so I apologize to fellow shareholders, True Religion. I've cursed you. I'm down 5% on them. Um, but they're back up today, up 63 bucks. Um, kind of a weird day. I don't know what else to tell you guys. We've got oodles of conferences this week. Um, okay. Yeah, what do you have for Let's see. Let's see what we have. This uh, week's conferences. Starting tomorrow, we have... Which, the by the way, I <laughs> thought this was today. <laughs> you scared this, me. Because it scared me. I thought we had a conference today. I was in here last night with German Mike, told me at a conference, and see him first thing in the morning. He went home and checked, knew we didn't, and didn't bother to tell me that we didn't. Oh, so we don't have a conference. So I can go? You okay. can go. But <laughs> right. I come in this morning, and I'm strolling in a little bit near the, near the starting time, right? Usually everybody's in when yeah. we have a conference, and the front door's locked. And I thought, okay. oh, that's nifty, right? Someone's scared, maybe. You know, ghosts. I have the crazy people that work here. Um, so, you know, maybe like ghosts or, the, you know, the, the haunted pumpkin or something yeah. was chasing them. They locked themselves in. No. I get to the second door. It's locked. Nobody's here. I thought, Oh my God! Happy Monday. Happy uh, Monday. Everybody. I got a call in. I got a conference. Nobody's here. I'm gonna get went to counter. It's not today. Just they all still at the beach drinking beers. I'm going the to the beach. I'm going to the beach with German Mike. Uh, okay. my, you know, you, they probably were. Did I'm you telling meet you, they these still people? are. They Did you meet are. them? I absolutely. They're all very bad people. Exactly. Um. <laughs> okay, see what we have. Starting tomorrow, we have RBC Global Mining and Materials Conference, where we have a mixture of both large and mid-cap companies, including some coal mining companies and uranium mining companies. Yeah, that's going to be cool, Maybe right? Connect? That's okay. the one I thought was today. Okay, so we'll see tomorrow, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, okay, Wednesday begins the Medium 7th Annual Biotechnology and Medical Technology Conference, uh, where we'll see uh, Denrion, oh, that's Dendrion, Celgene, yeah. Yeah. yeah, then Varian Medical, and Hologic, just to name a few companies. These companies will be all giving updates about their products in the pipeline and when they see those products coming to the market. Yeah, see, uh, Dendrion, Tyler wrote that so it's misspelled um, <laughs> of course um, where did you go to college <laughs> See, you're making me look bad as if I'm saying it wrong yeah, so I want to make sure the audience knows officially yes thank you right. it's not okay. my fault Tyler's fault you're brilliant <laughs> you're wonderful Tyler mm -hmm. oh. Tyler. Um, yeah. we, get uh -oh. we get tax credits for Tyler. Um, <laughs> but anyhow, um, Dendrion, uh, was, they were, there was a, an article, I think in the New York Times this weekend, about uh, the researchers getting paid when they're on the committee and getting paid by other drug makers. And that's what happened to Dendrion. They make a good drug for prostate cancer, and it didn't get approved last year. Mm -hmm. right? It makes people that get the prostate cancer live four months longer and has right. way less side effects, yeah. right? And, you know, if, if you're going to die, an extra four months is nice, and yeah. less side effects is nice, right? Absolutely. <laughs> and there was a big article this week, and this is a freaking scandal, is the people that were on the board that didn't approve Dendrion's Provenge drug uh, were getting paid by makers of a competing drug. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. And they were talking about, like, the one Harvard researcher got paid a million six last year. Um, and, oh, yeah, not to mention, <laughs> they got paid a million six. Oh, yeah, yeah. Checking account. Oh, I don't check my balances. <laughs> you know, scumbags. Um, I can say scumbags. They got paid. This is, you're talking about health here. You know, you're talking about people's lives and the quality of their lives. And when when you're playing games with this and getting paid and not uh, not telling and not approving drugs and stuff, I can say scumbags. Um, <laughs> and who else do you have? Okay, and Wednesday also. Who else do we have? We have. That's right. Uh, on We're a team. We are a team, and I'm talking. Oh, team playing, sorry. you know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So we have on Wednesday also Infineon Technologies presentation. The ticket is IFX, um, where we'll hear about the semiconductor and semi system solutions used in various microelectronic applications. This is really Wednesday. a tightrope for you having to read what Tyler wrote. Um, you're living <laughs> on you're living on the edge there, kid. Okay. 
And finally, we have the Raymond James 2008 Infrastructure and Construction Conference. It also starts on Wednesday with many Toronto listed companies presenting. Oh, right. That's the Canada one, right? Yeah. Um, that's my pal, Terry, who I love. Um, and that's coming up Wednesday. Oodles, oodles, oodles. Just turns out the week starts a day later than I had planned on. Um, thank you very much for coming in this morning, guys. Uh, click the feedback button. Tell us what you're buying. I don't really know what to buy right now. Obviously, I'm getting killed. Uh, so I'm just hanging in there hoping some of this stuff turns around. Uh, DSW, I just bought some. Uh, casual mail I bought. I also made a nice donation to their sales yesterday. Um, they had a decent selection of stuff. Um, okay, I have one more conference. Can I do it? Oh, yeah. Okay, Tell so me. on Thursday, just an update. On Thursday, we have the um, Avondale Partners Behavior Conference. We're okay. sending Tyler to that one. We're hoping that they'll come up with something to treat him or work on his behavior. Um, okay. Thanks very much. Thanks very much, and thank, thank you, you very much. You look very lovely as thank always. You. Uh, we were very happy to have the only nice Russian girl in New York in to help us exactly, out. Exactly, that's right. The only nice, the only one nice one. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. Okay, good luck saving the heat all day today in New York. Well, Mike and I are going to the beach. Don't tell Tyler. Okay, I won't. Okay, I'm maybe right I'll meet here. you guys over there. <laughs> you gonna come with us? <laughs> maybe. Okay, we're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at wsmco.com. Thank you.